Welcome back to another Varnberg Implement informational series video and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of talking about new product and what we've got out here, we're going to recollect a little bit of the history of Massey Ferguson and the compact tractor business. Actually Massey Ferguson in 2022 is celebrating their 175th anniversary of helping farmers farm the world. And for Varnberg Implement, we're selling our 70th anniversary of selling farm machinery in West Central Missouri. So it's an exciting year here, and we'd like to discuss a little bit about the history of Massey Ferguson Compacts. We're not new in the compact tractor business. We're actually one of the older companies that have been offering compact tractors. And if we go back to all the way back to 1978 is when Massey Ferguson entered the compact tractor business with the 200 series Massey Ferguson. So we're over 44 years of celebrating and selling Massey Ferguson compacts in North America. The first generation was the 200 series. The 200 series were sold from 1978 to 1984. They composed of three models. The model 205, which was a 20 engine horsepower version, 1.1 liter, two cylinder, featured a Toyota engine. The 210 was the next model, and it was a 25-engine horsepower, 1.3-liter, two-cylinder Toyota engine. And the third model that was available was a 220, which was 28-engine horsepower, at 1.5-liter, two-cylinder Toyota engine. These were all manufactured by Toyota of Japan, a Japanese-built tractor. They were actually all gear models. And as you can see here, we've got some pictures of representative stock of them. Um, they look like the Masseys of old, and we will watch as we evolve into the next generation. The next generation is the 1000 series, we call them. They were built from 1982 into 1994. And we featured six models of those tractors. And this is where we're going to see the first hydrostats of it evolve into the Massey Ferguson Compact Tractor brand. Um, we had six models. They all featured Toyota engines uh, from 0.9 liter to 2.0 liter. They were all a three-cylinder version. Um, the first one being the 1010, which was a 16-engine horsepower version. The 1020 was a 21 engine horsepower version. The 1030 was a 26 engine horsepower version. The 1035 was a 31 engine horsepower version. The 1040 was a 32 engine horsepower version. And the 1045 was a 35 engine horsepower version. Many of these are still in existence and we've actually got one that we've just recently traded here at Varnberg Implement. And here is a little pictures of that exact tractor, um, plus some literature information that, that shows you what the 1010 evolved into. A little information on the Toyota company. It was actually became the Hinamoto Tractor Company of Japan. Uh, Hinamoto went out of business at the end of the uh, in the 1990s. Um, they built tractors for Massey Ferguson, uh, sister brands, Deutz Alice and Alice Chalmers. Uh, some of you all may remember those. Those are sister companies of Massey Ferguson that has evolved into the Massey Ferguson brand. Um, the Hinamoto tractors were engines were all manufactured under the Toyosha brand and that brand uh, dissolved in the 1990s. The 1100 series started in 1993, and also it was the start of the partnership with Izeki Tractor Corporation, or Izeki Company of Japan. Izeki Company of Japan was founded in 1926, and they started building farm machinery. Uh, in 1961 is the earliest models of the Izeki tractor were produced, and in 1993, Massey Ferguson became... became a partner of Izeki Corporation. And through the Varnberg implement history and 
the legacy of, of Agco Corporation, uh, the White Farm Equipment Company, actually roots goes back into the 1979 era with the, the 2-30, 35, 32 series of tractors with White Farm Equipment, and then the FB series that continued until from 86 to 88. And then in 93 is when Massey Ferguson partnered with them. So at Varnberg Implement, we have a, we've had a partnership and a ability to sell the Izeki product since 1979. We were actually in a trip. Um, we had, our dealership had won to Hawaii, uh, got to meet a lot of the Izeki people at this White Farm Equipment trip, and they build have built very good products. They built products even up into the utility class tractors for White Farm Equipment and they were super dependable and we were excited with that product when Massey Ferguson started taking it on. So the 1100 series is the beginning of that partnership that has now lasted into the eighth generation of Massey Ferguson and Izeki built product. Izeki has manufacturing throughout Japan. They've expanded into um, the Indonesia, Malaysia areas of having factories too. Uh, they're a growing company and it's a great partnership with Massey Ferguson. So first off, let's talk about the 1100 series. The 1100 series had eight models. Um, they're manufactured in Japan. Uh, the, first, the first model was the 1120. It, it was a 16 horse version with a three cylinder 0.9 liter engine. Then they had 1125 at 25 horse, an 1140 at 30 engine horsepower, the 1145 at 35 engine horsepower, the 1160 at 41 engine horsepower, the 1165 at 44 engine horsepower, the 1180 at 52 engine horsepower, and the 1190 at 60 engine horsepower. The three cylinder versions went from the 1120 to the 1145 and the four cylinder versions were the 1160 through the 1190. This, these models continued into the 96 on some year models and then into the 1999 was the last of the Azaki built 1100 series for Massey Ferguson. The 1200 series Massey Ferguson's were were built from 1993 to 2003. Even though some of these overlap with the previous 1100 series, some of the horsepower and ranges didn't overlap. So that's why you're going to see some of that data from those two generations, from different generations overlap. But basically the 1200 series featured 11 different models. Uh, they were all three cylinder powered versions of the Izeki diesel engine uh, built by, uh, manufactured by Izeki Corporation. One of the great things with the partnership with Izeki is the engine, the transmission, the hydro hydraulics, everything is designed to work together. Um, there was variations of these models that you could get gear or hydrostat transmissions. Uh, some of them were kind of the like our E-Series models now which were just gear only, uh, more economical uh, more basic featured tractors versus more deluxe tractors. Um, the 1205 was a 16 horse version um, produced from 97 to 2003. The 1210 was an 18 horse version. The 1215 was an 18 horse version. That was the 1210 was from 93 to 95 and the later version was the 1215 that came out in 96 to 2003. The twelve, the twelve twenty, was from was a twenty one horse version produced from 95, 1995 to nineteen ninety eight. Then the twelve twenty five at twenty five horse, and then the twelve thirty was a twenty seven horsepower version, started in nineteen ninety three, uh, and then the twelve thirty three was a twenty eight horse version from two thousand one to two thousand two. The twelve thirty five was a thirty two horsepower version. Uh, made it through the whole life of that 1200 series from 1997 to 2002. The 1240 was a 30 horsepower version from 92 to 2002. And the 1250 at 34 horse and the 1260 at 40 horse 
was from 1992 through 2002. Again, if you would like to learn a lot more about the individual models, I, I would recommend checking out tractordata.com. It's a great resource that you can learn about the different horsepowers and what available options and, and more specific uh, specification details. And now in about 2003, uh, Massey Ferguson started the 1400 series of Massey Ferguson compacts. One of the neat things that uh, started at the 1400 series was basically the last two digits of the model number became close to the engine horsepower of the tractor. So we've, we actually had nine models uh, with some variations of some value models that were more basic spec models in that range. Starting with the 1470 was 16.6 .6 horsepower. So you can see that 17 was really close to the horsepower, engine horsepower of the tractor. Next, next came the 1423 at 23.3, .3, the 1428 at 28.4, the 1429 at 28.4, the 1431 at 33 horsepower, the 1433 at 33 horsepower, and it had a value version, value model, the V model. So 1433 V is a popular model that uh, we know that's around our area. Uh, and we've seen. The 1440 uh, was also at 40.1 engine horsepower and that was the last of the three cylinder versions and they also offered a value model in that one. The 1445 was at 44.2 engine horsepower and the 1455 was at 55.3 engine horsepower and the 1455 had a value version also. The 45 and the 55 were both four-cylinder motors, uh, Izeki built, uh, built in Japan, uh, Japanese built by Izeki, Massey Ferguson Partnership, uh, where one, one manufacturer controls the engine, the transmission, hydraulic system, all that. That's one of the big values of Massey Ferguson uh, it, during this period of time was the unit was assembled by one company. Uh, engineered, manufactured to work together um, where other companies were taking engines and transmissions and matching and max uh, trying to make stuff work together. The sixth generation of Massey Ferguson compact tractors was the 1500 series and this was the fourth generation of tractors produced with the partnership with Izeki Corporation of Japan. And this is one of the exciting times at Massey Ferguson as they entered the subcompact tractor business in 2005 with the GC2300, a 22 and a half horsepower version subcompact tractor. During the 1500 series, there was 12 models of 1500 series, and actually today one of those models is still in the current lineup with Massey Ferguson. The model 1526 that started in 2011 and is still running today is a 24.8 horsepower version. It also featured in the 1500 was the 1523 at 22.5 engine horsepower. It was more of a full compact. The 1528 at 28.4. The 1529 was a 28.4 horsepower version. It was more of a basic model uh, that had the sister model, the 1532, which was its 32 and a half version available. There was also a 1531 that was similar to the 1528 that was a 33 horsepower version. Then we get into the larger chassis tractors of the 1533 and the 1540 at 33 and 40.1 engine horsepower. These models when we took over the Massey Ferguson franchise in 2008, uh, were a basic model uh, compare with the new 1600s that we'll be talking about very soon. Uh, but they started their tradition as a premium premium version, and that's what we're talking about here is the premium models uh, for Massey Ferguson compact tractors. And then you get into the the three the really large chassis compact tractors of the 1547. 
1552, and the 1560 that were 47, 52, and 59.1 engine horsepower. These were the large four-cylinder versions uh, in the 1500 series lineup. This, the 1500 series started in 2005, lasted, most of them lasted to 2010, except for the exception of the 1526 that is still a current model today. Uh, a premium, small chassis, we call it a more of a mid compact. It's in between a subcompact and a full compact. The next generation of tractors was the 1600 series from Massey Ferguson. The 1600 series was an Izeki power plant. Um, it was an engine and powertrain, all still produced by Izeki Corporation. It basically is heritage is in from the 2009 to 2013 year model ranges. It also featured the second generation of the subcompact to come out during that period of time. The GC2400 at 22 and a half horsepower and the GC2600 at 25 horsepower. Um, moving from the legendary GC2300 that really started that uh, Massey subcompact movement, the 2400, one of the things it featured was more ergonomics that Massey Ferguson designed into the tractor uh, for the larger hands of North American, the, you didn't rub the levers as much. So Massey Ferguson has a lot of controls on how uh, this partnership of designing the tractors to work for them. They're just not a Izeki rebadged tractor. They're actually a Massey Ferguson design engineered product uh, utilizing the componentry from and the legacy and the reliability of the Izeki powertrain. The 1600 featured six models of tractors. The 1635 was a three-cylinder version at 35.7 horsepower. The rest of the generation of tractors, the 1643 through the 1660, featured four-cylinder engines in them. The 1643 was at 43.5 engine horsepower. The 1648 was 47.1. The 1652 was at 52.2 engine horsepower, the 1655 at 55.4, and the largest compact was the 1660 with the 60.0 engine horsepower model. These tractors were still available, cab, you could get cabs, you could get open stations. Um, 1500 series was actually I think the first cab versions that came out and they were available this would have been our second generation with cabs um, I'm not a great historian on that part because that was before our day but that's what I've learned so far in my research um, gear transmission hydrostats power shuttles um, were all available and leading Massey Ferguson into uh, great growth opportunities and stuff and moving on to the 1700 series the next generation from Massey Ferguson the 1700 premium series compact tractors from Massey Ferguson were introduced in 2013 and basically lasted through 2018 this featured the third generation of Massey Ferguson subcompacts the GC 1700 series being the GC 1705 at 22.5 horsepower and the GC 1715 at 25 engine horsepower. Um, the evolution was continuing. Um, the beginning of the 1700 series was also the beginning of engine emission, um, stricter engine emission uh, requirements for manufacturers. At this time, the GC series still featured a 100% Izeki powertrain and engine. Um, the 1700 Premium Series actually featured an Izeki powertrain engine or transmission rear end with a Mitsubishi engine in front of it. That is the what we call the 1700 Premium Series, featuring six models in that. The 1736 at 36.2 engine horsepower and the 1742 at 41.6 were the two smaller versions and then you had the 
larger versions, the 1749 at 48.3 engine horsepower, the 1754 at 53.6 engine horsepower, and then the 1758 and the 1759 were both 59 horsepower engine horsepower versions. The 58 was the hydrostat version of it. The 1759 was the power shuttle version. Um, power shuttles and, and hydrostats were available in the other models, uh, cab or platform versions. Uh, but this was the beginning of the use of the Mitsubishi engine with the Izeki powertrain uh, for the Massey Ferguson compacts. The, and this was a decision between Izeki and and Massey Ferguson to go this route. Um, the Mitsubishi was a very premium engine, um, but it met the current emission levels of the Tier 4 emissions that were coming out um, to be able to meet the meet the needs in the of the EPA and the World Clean Air Act. So um, that's the beginning of the 1700 series. Um, it was the sixth generation from Izeki Corporation. It was our eighth generation of tractors, uh, of compact tractors, during the 1700 series. There is also the 1700 E series uh, tractors. Those were e economy models um, that uh, offered a 34 horse and a 30. 9 horsepower version in those uh, from the 2013 era. Those replaced the 1500 series with the first true Massey Ferguson designed economy tractor per se. These tractors were designed to meet a certain price point of f features, value, um, to to have a premium product, they have the same warranty as the premium models, but they were just less bells and whistles. And it was to meet a certain price point of the competition of a lot of uh, s smaller tractor companies entering the, uh, the compact business. And this provides a, 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 pre a premium Massey Ferguson product at a value uh, that would match those uh, lesser brands that were entering the market and made it very competitive. Super good product. Uh, those tractors featured the Shabaru diesels. Uh, they also featured a diesel particulate filter uh, in those versions along with the Mitsubishi had an automatic version. Um, love it or hate it, that's where the emissions was and uh, the manufacturers have had to go along with it and Massey Ferguson is making the best decisions to reduce the customer's needs and of work and and costs with uh, making smart decisions and during this period we also seen the addition of two new larger horsepower economy version tractors introduced the 2700 e series these were a four-cylinder shibaru diesel uh, engines one of them was the 2705 e at 48.8 engine horsepower and the 2706E at 57.3 engine horsepower. We coined these tractors a compact tractor on steroids because they typically featured larger tires. Uh, they got into the small utility class like some of the other manufacturers were taking their compact tractors, uh, toning them down a little bit, not as many bells and whistles, um, the Massey still offered a metal hood, metal fenders, a flat platform, but not as many bells and whistles. This offered a sinker shuttle transmission or a synchronized hydrostat version uh, were the two models that Massey Ferguson added into this new class of tractors uh, to offer a price point tractor with premium powertrain but with less bells and whistles. Still offered the same warranty period, uh, just not as much uh, total cost to the customer, and they became a very popular model for Massey Ferguson. The ninth generation of Massey Ferguson premium compact tractors was the 1700 M series that started in the 2018 year range. 
one of the big changes and this was the change to the Shibaru diesel engine uh, in the premium versions that did not require a diesel particulate filter um, the Shibaru diesel had been being used in our E-series tractors in the compacts and the small utilities um, at that time the 1726E the 1735E and the 1740E or was the new models with a new hood design uh, that was one of the big things we were going to see was the hood styling change but also during this time was our fourth was during the fourth generation of subcompact tractors came it was the GC 1723E and the GC 1723M uh, those models are still in current production um, very very popular uh, have taken off and thousands of them are sold every year um, the E series uh, the 1726E was a 25 horsepower version the 1735E was a 34 horsepower version and the 1740 was a 38 horsepower version of an economy basic feature less bells and whistles tractor but the ones we really are waiting to talk about are the premium tractors the 1700 premiums as we spoke for before was the first generation of the 1700s but the M series our M stands for more specs uh, it's our mid spec tractors uh, E M and S is the Massey Ferguson nomenclatures for entry level features mid spec tractors and the S and the superior features uh, and high spec tractors in our large mid range up to our high horsepower tractors that's where you would find the S series so E is our basic tractor M is our premium tractor the 1735M came in at a 36.2 the 1740M was a 40 horsepower. The 1750M was 48 engine horsepower. The 1755M was 53 horsepower. And the 1760M at 59 horsepower. These were the premium models that could be cabbed or platform versions. Uh, we had power shuttles or an e hydrostat transmission uh, was available. The 1700M featured the Shibaru diesel uh, until 2021 and that's where the 1800M series gets its start and the 10th generation of Massey Ferguson Compact. Also during this period Massey Ferguson introduced the 2700E series the second generation. This featured the last two digits featuring approximate horsepower of the model. The 2750E at 48.8 engine horsepower featured a four-cylinder Shibaru engine and the 2760E at 57.3 also featured the Shibaru engine but we also seen the new hood style the global style hood design with the aggressive new look uh, available in a sinker shuttle and a hydrostat as in the past uh, the new 2700E series uh, was introduced during this period in, of the 1700M generation of tractors. It provided an economical choice for those needing additional horsepower. Again, this was our coin, the compact tractor on steroids with the bigger tires, uh, featured the powertrain like the larger M series and carried the same warranty. So you could get a lot of features for the dollar with the E series tractors from Massey Ferguson. The 10th generation of Massey Ferguson Compacts came out in the 2021 year models. Um, the big reason was coming back to the Izeki engine. Uh, there are several things that had happened. Shibaru had just been purchased by Perkins, uh, which was a division of Caterpillar. Uh, they were going to limit the number of engines. Massey Ferguson Compacts are growing substantially and needed a reliable uh, long-term partner for long-term growth so Agco Corporation which owns Massey Ferguson um, got their Agco engine engineers Agco power engines 
uh, has an engineering team, and they helped Izeki bring their tractor to meet stage five emissions. The emissions game has kind of slowed down as far as the changes in uh, nitrous oxide output and soot. So it was a good time to invest in in engine manufacture or engine design to meet the current emission specifications. Um, it also helped Izeki Corporation uh, have an engine for the rest of their their product line and their their own personal uh, manufacturing product. Uh, so this Izeki Massey Ferguson partnership since 19. 93 has been a tremendous value to both Izeki and to Massey Ferguson as they work together uh, to help each other produce tractors for Massey Ferguson that we all know and love, uh, but also for Izeki themselves. So the Izeki engine uh, was brought up to the stage five, which is actually in Europe right now. It hasn't made it to North America. But uh, that was the big change with the 1800-2800 series. The GC series compact is still the current one, the 1700E and M, that fourth generation compact that was introduced during the 1700M period. The 1800E series was introduced at the same time as the M, bringing both the E series and the M series to the Izeki engine. Uh, both of them feature a what I would call a premium diesel particulate filter. Um, it is a is not as based on time, it's based on soot load. It's a more expensive system, uh, but it is a more reliable system. We've learned a lot of things from our first generations. Uh, this system has been very super dependable. Um, we haven't had uh, hardly any issues. I think we've had one, one uh, tractor out of a whole pile that we've sold uh, that we've actually had to do a dealer regeneration. The rest of them have worked flawless. Um, that is the part we're excited about. With the 1800M, we are back to 100% manufactured, engineered, designed to work together, engine transmission hydraulic system with the 1800M series tractor with this Massey Ferguson and Izeki partnership that has been going on for eight generations uh, since 1993. Um, the 1800M features very similar models and sizes as the 1700M, um, but it has been split into two categories. The three-cylinder versions, the 1835M and the 1840M at 36 and 39 engine horsepower. And then the larger four-cylinder compacts are now the 2800M, uh, series tractors in the 2850, the 2855M, the 2860M, at the 50 at 48 engine horsepower, the 55 at 53 horsepower, and the 2860M at 60 horsepower. Uh, there is two E series versions, a 2850E and a 2860E. Uh, those are 48 and 57 horsepower, the more basic, and then you have the 1835E and the 1840E that were a 35, 35 is a 34 horsepower and the 39 is a 39 horsepower, more basic configuration. That rounds out the current production models uh, that you've been watching videos on. We've watched a lot of videos um, of we of we've produced a lot of videos on the uh, since on the 1700 premiums the the 1700 e 1700 m and the 1800 and 2800 series massey ferguson compacts um, i hope that helped you learn more about this rich heritage and the importance of the massey ferguson and Izeki partnership uh, japanese produced tractors right now they're the main production is done in Japan on the, and they do have a plant in Indonesia on a lot of the economy models uh, are coming out of that plant. It's still 100% Izeki controlled and owned. Um, with the final assembly done in three 
assembly centers in North America, one in Tacoma, Washington, Edgewood, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, and Ellabella, Georgia, which is just outside of Savannah. Um, is helping Massey Ferguson grow into the next generation of Massey Ferguson compacts. And I'm sure someday we'll be going on to maybe a 1900. Who knows what the next generation holds from us. We're into, we're into some exciting Massey Ferguson product uh, that is super reliable, performs great, um, built to last, and high reliability. Um, that is part of the Massey Ferguson, purchasing a Massey Ferguson. It's a full-line corporation that has a long, rich heritage of over 44 years in producing compact tractors. Uh, since 1978 so uh, we're not new to this game we've learned a lot of things along the way and we're excited to bring our products to you to show you what we have to offer and I hope that helped you learn and learn about the history of Massey Ferguson um, there's you only get better by keeping it improving on product uh, design and performance and stuff and Massey Ferguson is doing that along the way along with our great partnership with Izeki Corporation of Japan I want to personally thank them they have done a super job of building high quality products that last a lifetime um, like it's like the marketing slogan used to be it's the last tractor you'll ever need and I truly believe that when you buy a Massey Ferguson I hope that helped you learn more about the Massey Ferguson compact tractors and our rich heritage and our exciting future that is to come and why purchasing a Massey Ferguson with this partnership is a wise business investment for you. Thank you and tune in next time and I hope you learn more to help to teach you more about the exciting products from Massey Ferguson in the next edition from Barnberg Implement. Thank you for helping us celebrate our 70th anniversary, and I'm sure Massey Ferguson appreciates uh, your support and for five, six, seven generations, uh, the support of many families since uh, for the last 175 years of the Massey Ferguson heritage uh, and our 175th anniversary. Thank you, and have a great day.